hello there. <laughs> How are you doing today? Welcome back to the vlog series. The, the, it's all right, the TAK vlog series. <laughs> I kind of just end up forgetting which uh, series is out there at this moment. So yeah. <laughs> but how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic morning day. Morning day? <laughs> morning, afternoon, and evening. <laughs> So somewhere you think as you go, you know, it is how it is. <laughs> anyway, welcome back finally after so such a long time <laughs> of not posting a video. Actually, what was the last the last episode I posted was actually I can't even check because <laughs> there's no internet. I just I just remember now the net just poof, gone and vanished and now it's been what an hour or two now. So I was like, no, since I have time now, I should shoot this <laughs> so I can edit it as well because there's also other stuff that I need to edit so now watch out for that it might be something you know good for you so you must be wondering what's this season going to entail for, you know, for us and it's just gonna be more of a fun thing that I want to do and just experiment like this I think this is just gonna be me experimenting on ways of like entertaining you guys like what I'll be putting the videos from like maybe visual effects it's just silly <laughs> random things that I just find and just want to put there for you guys. It's just basically me trying to get better at vlogging and all that stuff. So you're gonna watch me this is one hopefully <laughs> grow in like maybe quality or in just like talking to you guys and just random things basically. So hopefully that all works out and it's just <laughs> yeah yeah it's just <laughs> I don't really much to say about it. But for this video, I wanted to, you know, take a step back and, you know, show you guys where it all started from. And with that, it's it's interesting. It's quite a journey that I've gone through that maybe most of you don't even actually know. Like, because I don't think I ever talked about how I got to where I am with all the videos and all that stuff. So, you know, let's, let's take it a bit back, shall we? So the first time I actually got into photography, <laughs> But I can't say officially got in photography, but the first time I picked interest in photography is when I was like a, a small, small kid. And the first cameras that were out there were the good old um, <laughs> film cameras that most of you know from Kodak to Fujifilm. Like there, there were <laughs> a lot, like so many companies were doing film at that time, so you'd find even like some bootleg, <laughs> I can never say bootleg, but yeah, a company that would just make a camera and be like, yeah, take it. And you're like, wow, it's so cheap, let me buy it. And actually, this is one, just one of them. Because <laughs> I think I have a whole like suitcase full of like all these old cameras. And it's actually, it's, it's pretty, I don't think it'll focus on that. Because it's focusing on my face. But yeah, this thing is so like, you had to like flip it out like this. <laughs> and then, oh, the best part was like, you had to. And then you had to. <laughs> and funny enough, there's actually a film that's still in here. I think it's already been burnt out because the amount of times I've opened or someone has accidentally opened you know, the backside uh, that has exposed the film. So yeah, I really wonder what kind of photos were in it though. But yeah, with that camera, is it wild really inside my pick of photography and I was just taking pictures of everything and just all that stuff. I'm actually wondering if I should show you a picture of me back in the day. Actually, hold on. Okay, I found the picture. <laughs> And it's just, it's the cutest thing ever. It's just <laughs> so yeah, like, look at that difference. <laughs> it's just, it's really different. Sorry if it's like overexposed. But yeah, it's just basically <laughs> what just showed me like, hey, you could do this and then it's gonna be there forever. And I was like, that's so awesome. I should get into that. And with that is where now, with time, sadly, like, <laughs> Okay. The older I got, like this camera started becoming more and more extinct and like harder to like get film and shoot that stuff. So that career kind of mellowed down and just, yeah, stayed stagnant from then on. But after, towards my high school life, <laughs> Yeah, I'll say that. That's when now I was able to get my like my first digital camera and I was like <laughs> It was actually so exciting. And once again, yeah it is. <laughs> it's a it's a really like really focus, yeah. It's very old. 
like it even had a like a really huge screen and all that stuff uh, but yeah this camera was the one that now gave me the chance to also dive into videography because i hadn't really you know <laughs> thought about the video and all that stuff all i, all I ever did was just photography so it was kind of interesting to have like this new aspect of um what can i say this <laughs> of creativity i guess i i don't know it's not wild that all this is categorized and i if there is, let me know in the comments. But I never really dabbled in videography as much, so I was like, oh, cool photos. So I, you know, I started taking as, as tiny, tiny photos and all that stuff. And then I think um, at that time, um, I was going into IB. And at that time, um, there was this trend called Harlem Shake. <laughs> and if you, don't know, if you don't know Harlem Shake, just yeah just youtube search it oh you can just go and check out one of my first videos you'll find it right there <laughs> and uh, but yeah it's actually my most popular video because yeah at that time we had done Harlem shake as like st mary's students and actually <laughs> and that's the thing it's it was so funny because it ended up becoming my most viewed video like 20 something to 20k views and <laughs> i was just like what I'm so surprised that it, it blew up that much and, and that was actually just all shot with this camera and <laughs> you know because I'm like wow that's so awesome and all that stuff and with that it gave me the excitement of now learning how to now edit videos and all that stuff and with that I started learning how to make videos on oh sorry edit videos on I think it was Sony Vegas Pro it was my first editing software I, I don't know if I really watched YouTube tutorials about it but then I just yeah I just said like I shot a bunch of clips I think that's where my YouTube side my YouTube channel started growing from was me just experimenting and like I just shoot a bunch of videos I think that's literally on my first clips on YouTube ah, it's just me sitting down like this talking and then I just edit it it was just it was so crazy at first but I think at that time I really I was just like, oh, this is so cool. And everyone was just like, no, I never really knew YouTube that well. So when people saw vlogs and everything, they were like, oh, what's this? And many guys used to watch it and everything. So it was, it was just fascinating. <laughs> first and all that, that stuff sorry mama and mouth i'm tired of, <laughs> trying to think of things to say to you guys but yeah but with time you know the camera was you know still like the first gen generation of digital cameras so it was just okay let me, let me not say first generation but yeah you really couldn't do much you could the quality was <laughs> it was really subpar and all that stuff so with time i it was between two cameras now it was a uh, nikon I don't know the exact Nikon it was, but yeah, there was that Nikon, and then my brother had this Canon 550D. And with these two cameras is when now I started experimenting more on YouTube with the videos I made. At that time, I couldn't really use the Canon, because my brother was using it for mostly his photography for events and all that stuff. So I never had the chance to really dabble with the video side of that camera as much so the nikon was mostly my go-to but at that same time i wasn't really a fan of the nikon because <laughs> the settings are just really complicated and all that stuff and i don't know there's just a thing that uh, i don't know i kind of looked at some point but then after that i was just like nah i think i think that's how my canon craze came from because i was just like canon is like so much better it's so much easier to use and all that stuff so from then on i tried to get the canon as much as possible to shoot most of my videos so with time, I shot some like, some of the beginning videos on my YouTube channel now, or from that Nikon. But I think at some point, I don't remember when the change was, but then I switched to that Canon now, because I think at that time, my brother had gotten a new camera. So he wasn't using that kind of camera. And I think from then on, that's where now my true journey of videography came to be. And <laughs> let me tell you, oof. Now, if you are wondering what camera it was, it was a Canon 550D. I don't, I don't think they even make it anymore. It's gone extinct. <laughs> I think it became the Rebel T5i. Right? So if you're looking for a certain camera, pretty really good. Because actually, if you were to see the footage of shot on that Canon, it's like, <laughs> you don't believe it's that camera because some of the videos were like incredibly detailed and just so smooth and all that stuff. And I think that's when now most of my videos on my YouTube channel are now basically that camera right now. Like on my Instagram, like if I was to show you the clips that I had shot of that camera, you didn't even really believe that yeah, that was that camera and it was crazy. <laughs> I might just, you know, show you a bunch of videos as I'm talking here so you'll see what exactly I mean. But with that camera, I ended up doing so much more. And the thing is, that camera, it still works to date. And my it's I think eight, is it eight? Almost 10 years old. 
and it still works perfectly fine. And the thing is, in the time when I was using it, it was still, it was kind of now damaged, so it didn't really have autofocus and the mic. Um, you couldn't really get a mic and put it through to get like better quality. So I had to use the mic on the camera, and <laughs> with that, it's, it's really 50 50. It might sound good, it might sound bad, depending on the environment. So, more if that's why if you go watch my videos back then, you can kind of tell that the sound was here. <laughs> yeah. But at the, at the time, I was just like, this is interesting, let me shoot it and edit it and use it on YouTube. And I never really thought about like, oh, what, what about this, what about that. But now, later on, <laughs> is when I started getting more into it, that's when I was just, it got to my head, I was like, oh, my videos are not good enough. And I think that's why now vloggers were really coming to be. So you used to see guys with insane videos and all that stuff. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. So the pressure was always like, ah, oh, should I really, you know, so I make, continue making more videos and all that stuff. Because the photography side, I never used to really do it unless I was doing like an event for my brother. But I'm not nice to do photography as much. So fast forward, I started buying now different equipment for the Canon. So I had bought a mic. Actually, that's when I realized the microphone doesn't track, so I bought a mic that I couldn't even use. Then I bought a light, which is what I'm actually using, and this light has really lasted me for a long time. So, actually, that's one thing. If you get into videography, always buy a light fast. Because trust me, it's gonna pull through for you. <laughs> a lot and all that stuff so with that i said just investing in small things like a tripod and well another mic <laughs> and just a lens and all that stuff and actually with time after <laughs> grinding and sweating and asking for favors i ended up getting out this camera which is the canon 80d which i'm yet to fully <laughs> put it to its pace because i actually haven't really got the chance to like shoot as much as that the other canon so hopefully with this season i can do as much with this camera i think the only time i said actually using this camera is when with the, the new vlog series actually season one was what i was shooting with this camera so if you like those videos then you know yeah <laughs> but i'm still also just trying to learn the, the proper settings the proper lighting to just make all like the things work together so with time i ho hopefully you'll see how it all grows and just becomes better. At the end of the day, all this gear, it's, it's all nice. But if you don't really have a story to tell with that, then the gear is kind of useless. Because really, you wouldn't even know anything about my YouTube channel and my Instagram if it wasn't for the content I made. And you know, that's why most people say the content is more important than the gear. Because if it was all about the gear, the people would just be posting the gear. <laughs> and with that, you'd just be like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> but you see with the content you're like oh that's so cool and that's when people start asking oh what gear to use because they think with that same gear that you, they have you'll shoot better <laughs> which is not true at all it's all up to you it's all up to what you want to shoot and what you want to do but yeah <laughs> I think that's what I really wanted to say about this video. <laughs> and as it's not as flashy as the first episode of season one, but uh, yeah, at least it's more down to the ground. And at least now you know something about me <laughs> and where I started from. And I hope you learned something from this as well, maybe. <laughs> maybe it does end. Most of the other part was just me talking about myself, so yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys episode two this should just be something <laughs> silly but it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun video hopefully <laughs> it's, it's just yeah i'll just say it's silly it's it's just me putting in work and me just watching so yeah watch out for that and i'll see you guys in the next video sorry if this video so long <laughs> it's just yeah anyway peace If you're here, then you're your MVP right now. I find out this is the second time I'm shooting this, so. Oh. <laughs>